Hey guys, it's Winifred, and today we are back with our second installment of the Bond Colognes. Today I decided to go with the Midtown scents. And um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump in because there are quite a few scents in this grouping. Unlike yesterday, we were only six cents. Today we have 14 cents in the Midtown um, grouping of scents. But out of those, I only had like maybe seven. So for time's sake, what I'm going to do is just go over the ones that I have. And I'm going to provide the link to the Bond Colognes below. Okay, let's get started. Starting out with this one, which is... Lexington Avenue. Now, I'm not sure if this bottle is still available. This bottle was a Andy Warhol original, and I think I got this when this scent first was launched. And let me just read to you the notes in this scent. Blue cypress, fennel, roasted almonds, pink peony, creme brulee, and sandalwood. I like this scent. This scent to me is more of a fall winter scent with the uh, cream brulee and the roasted almonds that kind of gives it a little warmer undertone however I want to kind of experiment because maybe if I mix this with some of the green scents this might could be a, a nice summer scent or spring scent as well it's um yeah but I'm smelling more of a fall scent for this one. And uh, yeah, again, this is Lexington Avenue, guys. The next one is um, Saks Fifth Avenue. Now, two came out. One, one for the women and one for the guys. And you know, I like more of a um, clean scent. So I went for the guy scent but let me just tell you what's in both of them because you probably could mix both of them you know to come up with a nice feminine scent with a nice male balance so let me tell you what's in the Saks Fifth Avenue her first it's jasmine tuberose gardenia viviteer vanilla and I'm not really um too much of a floral person that's why I steered from that one I'm more of um, a white flower person more or less and I'm not so much of a jasmine or rose person or gardenia together I could take a couple of those notes in another more masculine or cleaner scent but not all together so I think that's why I steered away from the um, sex her now the sex him has chili, black pepper, cardamom, bergamot, incense, gulak wood, and amber. That's my kind of a scent. Um, it smells good. This, you know you can mix the scents. This scent I could see maybe being mixed with uh, Gramercy Park or Central Park or Ode New York and we'll get to those later and you then you'll understand why I say you could probably mix them but this is a nice masculine scent but I would almost say it says him but I would say to me because I like that kind of scent I would say it's more or less unisex because I would wear it <laughs> and I do <laughs> so again that's um, the Saks Fifth Avenue him and uh, that has the chili, black pepper, cardamom, bergamot, incense, gulak wood, and amber. The next one I'm going to talk about is, oh, guys, let me tell you, one that I absolutely, absolutely love. And at first, this, to me, is truly a um, very, very unique. All the bond scents are unique. But this one is very unique. And there are so many components into this that make up this and to me after you spray it and it's on your skin you kind of have like that after of smoke to me kind of and it doesn't smell bad it smells good it's 
you got that masculine and feminine together and it's a really good balance and this is one of the bond scents guys because it's so unique i don't mix this one with anything because i like everything as it is and it's a more complex scent let me tell you what's in it this was introduced by the way in 2012 so let me tell you what's in it uh fresh coriander corsican um immortal I'm guessing. I just botched that, I'm sure. Spicy nutmeg, um, juicy Italian bergamot, gold saffron, gourmand gingerbread, cashmere wood, French jeanette, province star, jasmine, cis jasmine, cistus flower, gourmand red plum, breeches honey, rare agarwood, oriental musk, creamy sandalwood and suede so i don't know what's giving it that kind of um i kind of get like a smoky room vibe from this not that it it just puts you in that because it's a nice rich heaty scent it just kind of gives me that vibe of a dimly lit um cigar bar maybe but it smells so good. And the cream, the body cream to this, guys, is just to die for. And I have not used, so I can't attest to their body lotions, but I could attest to their their body creams. Literally, if you just put the cream on your body, it will last you all day. And so that's why sometimes one of my methods of layering the bond scents is to put... Um, one, one scent of the body moisturizer on and then another scent on top of that because their creams are just that robust and that strong where it will uh it will compete with the um with the spray with the actual cologne but when you put these two together like the same scent the manhattan body cream and the manhattan spray you put them together it will last you all day and, and beyond. So, you know, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Um, okay. The next one that I have is West Side. And that's this bright red bottle with the music clefts all over it. And now this, this one smells really good. It's a... It's a it's a soft scent to me, and this makes a good mixer scent. Um, let me tell you what's in it. It's rose, ylang ylang, peony, sandalwood, amber, vanilla, and musk. This is soft enough where I can see this mixed with a one of their citrus. Um, one of their citrus colognes to give it a softer feel. I can see this mixed with like um, Gramercy Park, Central Park, uh, Fashion Avenue. Those uh, Fashion Avenue has a little more citrus to it and uh, Little Italy. I can see it mixed with those scents to soften them up a little bit if that's what you're going for. Um, on its own, it's a little... It's soft and it's a little powdery to me. Um, I'll be honest, this is not one of my favorites to wear by itself, but it makes an excellent mixer scent. And I also have this one in the body cream, and it makes a really good mixer scent as a body cream, you know, just to cut some of the sharpness of some of the other ones. The next one um, is the scent of peace. I had it. I used it all up. And that one contains grapefruit, black currant, lily of the valley, um, cedarwood, and musk. Now, that is a very modern, fresh scent. You know, you've got that grapefruit in there and you have that black currant in there. And I believe when this first came out, I know they now have a scent of peace for him. I believe men were wearing this one as well. Uh, scent of Peace 
is a good scent to wear on its own. And let me tell you, it's a, also a good scent to mix with other scents. Matter of fact, um, scent of peace might be a good mixer for uh, or with this West Side because that that bite of that black currant and um, grapefruit. This would maybe cut that down a little bit and sweeten it up, depending upon your taste. That's the beauty of playing with the Bond scents. Guys, you can get in there and you can become your own Bond mixologist. So that's the beauty of it. You know, you try one scent, you try, you have a curiosity, you think, hmm, how will that work with that one? You try it. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. And you just spray it on some spray it on some paper and see how it works. But you know, with the paper, it's not the same as on your body and how it mixes with your oils. The next one is another one, guys, that I absolutely love. And I have repurchased this one. I am not kidding, at least three times. And this is one because it is so unique. I refuse to mix it with anything else. And I think it's just such a beautiful scent. Now, it's called Hot Always. Hot Always. And I love, I love the name, number one. But this is a man's scent. And I was shocked when I read that it was a man's scent. Um, I asked my brother to spray it. And he was like, I can see where it will be a man's scent. But I like it. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. Now, what it has in it, and I thought it was so complex just from smelling it, but what it has in it is cinnamon, bergamot, and patchouli. Those are the only three ingredients listed, but it smells so much more complex than that. Guys, let me tell you, I have gotten more compliments on this than... I care to remember. <laughs> I won't say I care to remember, but I can't remember. I get compliments from both guys and and girls on this. This is a lovely, lovely scent. And I just didn't believe it was a man scent, but I can see where it would be. This is one of the scents that I have for Bond, from Bond that I have never mixed with another scent because I just like this one on its own. So this in Manhattan so far, I have not mixed. And Nui Di Noho, I haven't mixed that with anyone either. No, maybe so, so New York and New, so New York, I haven't mixed with anyone. So we'll get to those later. Um, now, the next one I had in a body cream. I didn't have it in the cologne, but I had it in a body cream to layer it with my other scents. And that one is called Bryant Park. And let me just read off what's in it. Lily of the Valley, rhubarb, pink pepper, rose, patchouli, raspberry, and amber. Now, when you, to me, when you first spray Bryant Park, it smells very modern. But then it dries down to a softer scent. So what I would do with Bryant Park, again... I would mix it with Central Park, um, Gramercy Park, um, Eau de New York. Um, it was a good mix with those colognes. And I believe I even mixed it, I used to mix it with Great, Great Jones, I believe. Um, yeah, now I'm not sure, I, I probably wouldn't buy it as a cologne, I'll be honest, but it was a good mixer scent. Uh, yeah, that's all I'll say about that one. <laughs> the next one is Fashion Avenue. I had that. I'm done with that one. I would buy that again because it's my kind of scent. Let me tell you what it has in it. Dewy greens, fresh citrus tones, mimosa, yang yang, black currant, sandalwood, cashmere, and musk. Now, your top notes being dewy greens and, and fresh citrus tones. That's me. That's me all the way. And as I remember, it was very citrusy to start off with. And then it dried down to some of your softer notes, your, your cashmere and your musk. Love, love, love that one. Now, I'm going to tell you, keep in mind, because these are an investment when you buy them. 
Um, what I would do in bond, the bond representatives that I've had, and um, here in the Cleveland area, it's sold in Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm not sure if it's going to be sold in Nordstrom's or not, but it is sold in Saks Fifth Avenue. We have the best bond um, bond representatives. They are patient with you. They are willing to mix uh, all the scents with you and explore with you. And I'm one of those ones, guys. It takes me a minute, and I have to have the coffee the coffee beans by me to cleanse the palate because I'm ready to go again. So, um, the next one I'm going to talk to you about, guys, it is called Eau de New York. That one was one of my first scents that I got, and I got the designer bottle. And phew, it just has the Bond New York uh, little symbols and labels all over it in various colors. And it's the big white white bottle or off white bottle. Guys, this is a unisex scent. This was my very first Bond cologne that I got. Um, I love this so much. I got my brother to get it as well. He also has it. And I got this one along with the body cream. I distinctly remember. Well, no. I got three of them at the same time. I bought... This one, Central Park and Gramercy Park at the same time. And this one, I have to say, I love. It is unisex. I will always have this one in my, um, in my collection. This is a good one to wear on its own. It is also a good one to mix with others. And let me tell you what's in that. Bergamot, Mandarin, Grapefruit. Petty grain leaves, green watery accord, neroli, gardenia, um, cyclamen, I don't know what that is, white lily, basil verbena, jasmine petals, viviteer, oak moss, skin musk, and white woods. This smells clean. This also reminds me of a very expensive green like soapy smell. This smells very, very, very clean. And I can see where this would appeal to both men and women. And this is not a scent that I would say would offend anyone. You know how some people, like some scents are so potent and so strong that you're just like, oof, uh-uh. This is a scent that because of its complexity but light airy smell it's easy to blend with other scents also easy to wear on its own how's that sound i think I, I, that's a good description for this this is will appeal to both sexes men and women and if you like a really clean um, type of fragrance, a green type of fragrance, you will love this. And I think the last one in the grouping that I am going to talk about, oh man, I don't think I have the bottle down here with me. Oh, I don't. Maybe I ran out of it. But this is another one that's a staple, and it's called Central Park. I bought that along with when I first bought All Day in New York, and I have bought Central... I have repurchased Central Park about three times too, guys. This has Verbana, Basil, Mugget, Water Jasmine, Blue Cedar, Cashmere Musk, and Patchouli in it. Again, this is another green scent that mixes with Eau de New York. You could wear it by itself. Um... You can maybe mix it with some of the other feminine scents. They mix well with Little Italy because Little Italy, as you would guess, is a citrusy based scent as well. It mixes well with those. Um, like I said, that is another scent that you could wear on its own or you can mix it um, with other scents. Again, that's Central Park and that has Verbena, Basil, Magnet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Water jasmine, blue cedar, 
cashmere musk, and patchouli. And guys, I'm going through this quicker than what I had expected. And we are done with the Midtown scents. So, having wrapped, having wrapped that up, ooh, excuse me, having wrapped that up, I think what we're going to do is maybe jump into another one. I was going to save it for tomorrow, but I will come back with maybe downtown or maybe uptown. Not sure yet. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And in case you didn't see um, the New York beaches, that was up last night. So check that one out as well. Um, that one has scents such as the Sag Harbor, um, Montauk, and um, the Hamptons, and those kind of scents. Coney Island, Fire Island, all your beach scents. Okay, again, this one was the Midtown grouping. So we only have two more left, guys, and that's downtown and uptown. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.